Not very more, and this is what, what your college news. CBS News says New York City has become the second most expensive city to rent an apartment. The first is San Francisco. The mean price for a student apartment is $2,300, one bedroom $2,900, and two bedroom $2,500. According to a market re report from real estate agent Douglas Element, the average rent prices in Manhattan and Brooklyn have increased 1.8% in Manhattan and 4.6% in Brooklyn, the highest in five years, meaning rent hasn't dropped in two years since July. Professor Wayne Forrester of the Business and Economics Department at CUNY York College shares his thoughts on the rent increases. Okay, so what are your opinions on that? Well, what does real, a um, couple of things. Naturally, when rent, 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 when rents do increase, it's going to create um, some difficulty for families, and especially those families that are on fixed income, and where the possibility of increasing the wages is somewhat limited by either of them being on Social Security or, or retired, so to speak, or, in, or anybody who has a fixed income. It's very hard. As rent prices in New York continue to increase, it appears to have a great impact on students in York College. Students Emmanuel Ramirez and Karam Khan give their perspectives on the rent increases. So how do you feel about rent increasing in all these apartments in Manhattan, in Brooklyn, in Queens? Um, I would say it's hurting the people because most people don't have shelters and it's because they don't and they're not getting paid as much so they can't pay the rent high, the high rent. Okay. So it's negatively affecting the people of New York. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So, for you as a potential student who will want to find their own place to live, how do you think it would affect you, personally? Uh, I, I, actually, I'm living with my parents right now, so, uh, and I wanted to live on my own, but I just couldn't find a job. It was hard, so I, and then finding an apartment is even harder nowadays. Okay. Within a certain budget. Okay, thank you. Now I just need your name, your year, and your major. Uh, Karam Khan, uh, freshman year, bio. Now, in a study by a real estate developer, they said that rent has increased in Manhattan by about 2% and in Brooklyn by 5%, which means rent has not gone down in two years. So what do you think about that? I think it's kind of unfortunate because that's what makes people want to like leave and like go out to the outer boroughs. I know most people don't consider Long Island a part of like New York City, so they end up going there or they end up moving out to another state. That's because you know the cost of living is that much lower than it is here. Uh. And it's, you mentioned that as far as with the whole real estate developer and like the, and the whole study with that. And I know like like I was like I told you before, um, I have a neighbor that pays twice as much in rent that I pay to the same apartment. Oh wow! Living on your own, working for you. Um, it's uh, definitely always a struggle, especially as a college student. You never really know what your expenses are going to be. You don't know what's going to happen from month to month, and depending on your job security, you don't know where your next income is coming from. So. <laughs> now all I need is your name, your year, and your major. Well, my name is Manuel Ramirez. I am a junior, and I'm a psych. While students share their perspective on rent and how hard it is to find a place, a real estate agent shares her thoughts on why there is an increase and how students can find an affordable place. And your name is? Jenny Lee from Aida Real Estate Hill. Uh, why is there such an increase in rent for Manhattan, which is $51? Why is it increased? Yeah. Because of the rentals? Because Manhattan or New York in general has a huge demand for property, whether it's for rent, for sale. That thing is that's the reason also because there's a lot of new construction and new development always increase the value of all the properties in general. Where should college students or residents look for affordable, cheap housing? Uh, for least expensive or cheaper properties, it's best to go to rent stabilized apartments. The other choice for students is to go and room, find a roommate and split the rent and that will make it more affordable to them. Alright, so I'm going to tell you which side of this building, this is Midtown Manhattan, uh, which part of the buildings are expensive? We are in Midtown Manhattan right now, as we can, you can see, you see Central Park, so we're facing north as far as Harlem on the other side of the park. The, the beach buildings 
down Central Park South. Those are the Trump Building at 110 Central Park South, which is a condo. It's a, it's a co-op with condominium room. Yeah. This whole area is absolutely pricey. You will find apartments like studio. As she is explaining these buildings around Midtown, they are very expensive, around 95000 or more. But there's still more information that anybody can find as long as they're a real estate agent, especially in Manhattan. This area around here is commercial and residential mix. If you want an affordable price around this area, talk to your real estate agent, Aubrey Memorial, and this is your college deal.